A lot of us, when we design for the web, we want to use a grid or design to a grid, right? Well, in Illustrator, it can be a little bit trickier unless you pull a template off the internet. So I want to show you how to set up a grid of guides. Now, I've got a, a draft here of uh, a website that I'm putting together, and you'll notice I've got the guides turned on. I don't know if you can see them right here, but I want to make a grid so that I can align to the grid, and that way we can design to a grid and also use a framework that's got CSS that already has the grid in it. That's why we're doing this, or at least one of the reasons. So let me start from scratch here and just show you. So I'll go to File New, and I'll make a new document. And you'll notice that Illustrator has a bunch of uh, web profiles built in. So if I go to sizes here, a lot of these sizes are ridiculous. These are, we're not even going to design a 1024, 768. We're probably going to design 1280, you know, 1300, something like that for desktop. Uh, and then we've got Retina to concern ourselves with, but I'm not going there. So you pick a size you want to work with. Okay, how about that? And I'll go a little taller, height 1300 maybe. And I'll just click OK. And I've got my document. Now, to put a grid out here, what I want to do is I want to create a box that's the size of the artboard. Okay, that's our starting point. So I'll go to the rectangle tool and select it. Come on out here, and we can create a rectangle just by clicking. So come up to the upper left. Smart Guides should be on, and you should see Intersect. If you don't see them on, go into View and turn them on. Click once, and then you'll see it'll actually just put a default size. I just did this once to test it. You need to type in the size of the actual artboard. So mine was 1280, and I think I typed in 1300. Okay, if you guys can draw it too, it doesn't really matter. I'll click OK, and there we go. There's the the box. If if it's not the right size, just drag it so it makes it the right size of the artboard. Okay, come under Object, you'll see with it selected. Come to Path, you'll see what's called Split into Grid. Choose that. Split in the grid with the box selected. We can say, hey, let's make it. Let's suppose that our grid is 12 columns. So I'll say 12. Select preview, and there's my grid. Now I'm going to go in and set a gutter size. And unfortunately, we I've tried percents in here, and it won't really work. So you got to use a pixel pixel size, which is unfortunate. But I'll put that in there. There we go. And you can also say, let's add guides, which is important here because it's going to add these basically just lines out there that we're going to convert to guides. Go ahead and click OK. And what's weird is it, it basically made a whole bunch of rectangles with these lines dividing it. So we're going to take a couple steps here. So what I want to do is this. Deselect. I'm going to zoom out just a hair here. I'm going to click on this one guide, and it should select this entire grid of guides. Now, these are just lines, okay? What we're going to do, and this is kind of weird, but we're going to make a duplicate of this layer, okay? So what I'm going to do is take that layer and duplicate it. Now, this is my own workflow. You guys do what you want. And we're going to take this layer one here. And we're going to lock it, and we're going to hide it. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because later on, if we want to adjust the guide sizes, you'll you'll see that it'll be there. We'll be able to do that. Okay, now, with the layer one copy here, make sure that you've got that selected here, these, these green lines or these grid guides, and we're going to lock them. So object lock, use your shortcut if you know, lock the selection, and then go out and select the rest of this stuff, and these are just a bunch of boxes, and delete them. Okay, now we've got this out here. Now, what I want to do is I want to unlock all, there we go. And you've got these green lines still selected from that copy of layer. With them selected, we're going to turn them into actual guides now. These are just lines. So first of all, it's a group of lines. Just double click to get into the group. Make sure you're on one of the lines. Like you can see, it says path there. Double click. Click on this. I don't need these horizontal ones. So I'm just going to click to select and hit delete. That way you come down here, you can drag across or select it. Delete. There we go. Double click away to get out of the group. Select one of the green lines. You select the whole group. Now we're going to convert them to actual guides. So go under View, go to Guides, and choose Make Guides. And there we go. We now have a grid of guides. It's a little bit of a workaround, and there's a couple ways to get this done. And if you have a better way, put it in the comments. But this is one way to do it. Now the reason why I left the other layer or copied the other layer, if you turn this on and off, is because if you ever need to adjust the height of the guides. Let's say your artboard gets really tall. You guys, this layer up here, whoops, this layer up here, these are guides. We're not going to really, you know, I mean, I can select it and do different things, but I'm not going to adjust it, okay, which is kind of unfortunate. So what we can do is go back to the original layer, make them taller, and then remake the guides. It's your call. But that's one way to make a grid of guides in Illustrator.